this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Nana Alexandria and Maya Cebudanidze. This is a game from the Soviet Team Cup played in 1982. Nana Alexandria had white pieces and she started with d4. Maya Cebudanidze played g6, c4, bishop to g7, knight to c3, d6 going for the king's Indian defense, e4, the standard move, black to move. Knight to f6 is the most played move in this position. Maya Cibudonidze played Knight to c6 provoking d5 and Nana Alexandria accepted the challenge. d5 attacking the knight and gaining the space on the board. What is the best square for the knight? Maya Cibudonidze played Knight to d4 Knight to g to e2 c5 Knight takes on d4, c takes on d4, knight to b5 intending knight takes on d4, queen to b6 defending the pawn, white move. Nana Alexandria played the sharpest move, c5, if bishop to d3, then a6 and after knight to a3, black is ok. Back to our game c5 sacrificing the pawn for the initiative d takes on c5 bishop to f4 threatening knight to c7 check winning the rook how to stop knight to c7 check is black in trouble how would you continue maya chibudanidze played king to f8 white to move the first move that Nana considered was knight to c7, but she didn't find anything. So she played b4. Let's take it back. If knight to c7, then rook to b8. And if knight to b5, black can play rook to a8 or queen to a5 check. Back to our game. b4. Sacrificing another pawn. This is the critical position of the game. What would you do in this position if you had black pieces? Please pause and find the best move for black. Did you pause? What did you find? Did you find this awesome move? d3. Absolutely the best move. Why to move? If rook to b1, then queen takes on b5. So, Nana Alexandria played bishop takes on d3, defending the knight. Black to move. How would you continue now? What is the best move for black in this position? Did you find bishop takes rook? If you did, no, congratulations. This is not the best move. After queen takes on a1, white is better. Just have a look at the difference in the activity of the pieces. Back to our game. So what did Maya Cibudanidze have in mind? She played queen to f6. This is the double attack. Knight to c7. Queen takes on a4. Knight takes rook. Black to move. And to play the obvious. Or maybe not so obvious. How would you continue? What is the best move for black in this position? Again, Maya played the best move. Bishop. To c3 check. If bishop takes on a1, queen takes on a1, and this is not a great achievement for black. Back to our game. Bishop to c3 check, king to f1, and white also lost the castling rights. c takes on b4, not taking the rook. This is better than taking the rook. The bishop is a strong piece. The game continued. Rook to c1, intending a3. Knight to f6, f3, more protection to the pawn on e4. King to g7, activating the rook. a3, if pawn takes pawn on a3, rook takes bishop. Black to move. How would you continue in this position if you had black pieces? Bishop to d7 was expected. Attacking the knight. There was another surprise. 
Maya Chibuda needs a played knight to g4, tightening a knight to e3, check, winning the queen. g3, attacking black queen, queen to f6. If knight to e3, check, then king to e2. After knight takes queen, g takes on f4, and white is better. Back to our game. Removing the target. Queen to e2. Bishop to d4. A takes on b4. Knight to f2 attacking the rook. White to move. f4 was played. If rook goes to g1, then bishop to h3 check. Black is better. So Nana Alexandria played f4. But then Maya Chibudanidze played bishop to h3 check. King to e1. Rook takes knight. Rook to f1, saving the rook. Knight takes on d3. Queen takes knight. Bishop takes on f1. King takes on f1. Bishop to b6. White to move. A piece down and exhausted. Nana Alexandria resigned. What a battle. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.